What's up everyone and welcome back to Teenage Aquarius. Today we're gonna do a species spotlight on the dwarf gourami and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe on my videos for to support the channel and let's get into it. Most dwarf gouramis live for about 4 years. With proper care they can live longer. Dwarf gouramis are generally peaceful fish unlike the much larger standard gourami which can become aggressive. Dwarf gouramis do well in most community aquariums and are compatible with most fish. They require a tank that can hold at least 10 gallons, 15 preferably. They are usually found swimming in the middle or top regions of the aquarium because gouramis are labyrinth fish and make use of their labyrinth organ if necessary, which makes them able to breathe air outside of the aquarium water. Dwarf gouramis do not do well with large aggressive fish. Dwarf gouramis are so docile that they will allow, them, allow themselves to be bullied to death rather than fight back. Males of other gourami species as well as male betta fish may attack dwarf gouramis. Dwarf gouramis tolerate fairly high temperatures. Temperatures of 27 degrees Celsius are easily tolerated. Dwarf gourami can reach up to a length of 8.8 .8 cm or 3.5 inches. Uh, nutrition. A varied diet is very important to the dwarf gourami, which is an omnivore that prefers both alley based foods and meaty foods. An alley based flake food, along with freeze dried bloodworms, tube effects, and brine shrimp, will provide these fish with proper nutrition. Uh, during breeding, the male builds a floating bubble nest in which the eggs are laid. Unlike other bubble nest builders, males will incorporate bits of plants, twigs and other debris which hold the nest together. The water level should be reduced to 7 to 10 cm during spawning and the temperature should be approximately 28 to 30 degrees Celsius. Vegetation is essential as males build a bubble nest using plant material which they bind together with bubbles. Nests are very elaborate and sturdy, reaching several inches across and an inch deep. Once the nest has been built, the male will begin courting the female, usually in the afternoon or evening. He signals his intentions by swinging around the female with flared fins, attempting to draw her to the nest where he will continue his courting display. If the female accepts the male, she will begin swimming in circles with the male beneath the bubble nest. When she is ready to spawn, she touches, touches the male on the, either the back or the tail with her mouth. Upon this signal, the male will embrace the female, turning her first on her side and finally on her back. At this point, the female will release approximately 5 dozen clear eggs, which are immediately fertilized by the male. Most of the eggs will float up into the bubble nest. Eggs that stray are collected by the male and placed in a nest. Once all the eggs are secured in the nest, the pair will spawn again. If more than one female is present in the breeding tank, the male may spawn with all of them. The spawning session will continue for 2 to 4 hours and produce between 300 and 800 eggs. Dwarf gouramis have a vicinity of about 600 eggs. Upon completion, the male will place a fine layer of bubbles beneath the eggs, assuring that they remain, remain in the bubble nest. The male will protect eggs and fry. In 12 to 24 hours, the fry will hatch and continue developing within the production of the bubble nest. After three days, they are sufficiently developed to be free swimming and leave the nest. When the fry are two to three days old, the male should also be removed or the he may consume the young.